What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new around here, hi, my name is Taylor. I am a 24 year old grad student in New York City. I'm about to start my dietetic internship this fall on track to become a registered dietitian in the next year. I also just moved into an apartment with my boyfriend in Stye Town, which is between Gramercy and the East Village in Manhattan. Between just doing updates on this move, I'm actually going to vlog tonight because Kyle and I are having a little bit of a date night tonight. Even though we live together, we thought it'd be a good excuse to just spend actual quality time with each other. I think it's important when you live with your partner to make sure you carve out like special time and quality time like you used to have before you lived with each other. So that is what we're doing tonight. It's a Saturday, it is 4.15 in the afternoon. All these little baby hairs, I, let me know in the comments if any of you have issues with baby hairs, like mine have a mind of their own, it's super fun. Kyle is playing basketball at the basketball court they have here at Stytown. While he's gone, I'm just gonna kinda do a little pampering, take a nice shower, listen to some music, and kinda start getting ready for our date night. Don't have any set plan in stone, we just wanna go get dinner somewhere. I really want to go to Ruby's Cafe which is in the East Village and it's a really cool spot that I see a lot of influencers go to and I hear is really good and people rave about it. They don't take reservations so we're kind of just gonna go on the earlier side and hope we can just sneak in there. The food looks really good and their drinks look really good too. Maybe we'll watch a movie when we get home. I'm not really sure but I just thought I'd take you guys along and also provide some apartment updates for you as well. I'm watching Housewives of course. You know nothing has changed despite me moving here but this is how the living room is looking so far. I got this lamp from Amazon. I absolutely love it. I love the industrial look. Kyle already had this big potted plant which is nice. I think I want to replace it though because this one is on its last uh, few days of life it looks like so we might need to be replacing that. The TV stand, I'm gonna add some more decorations down there as well. Our coffee table, which I love. It's so cute and a perfect size to just do my homework at. This is kind of like what everything else looks like. Our dining room table is coming in the next few days. Those are our chairs. It's just awaiting a table. Here's the couch. A lot of what needs to be done in the apartment so far is just like decorations. Like I wanna get some framed artwork and put it above the couch. We need to get the chaise that comes with this couch. It's just out of stock at Ikea like every day. So we just have to wait for it to come in stock. But this is just what the room looks like overall. I love this time of day like mid to late afternoon the sun is just drenched in this entire apartment and I love it so yeah this is kind of like our station when we get packages this is a little console table I got which is gonna be just next to the dining table which will go right here under this light I really wanted to get a table like this so I could put like the things I use to leave and you know walk out the door like my keys mask hand sanitizer things of that nature I'll do an updated apartment tour once things are really settled we went to the Trader Joe's wine shop in it's like Union Square I think Kyle got this wine cooler so we were like we should just get a bunch of cheap wines to fill it up this is a 12 bottle wine cooler so we wanted it to be nice and stocked it's all coming together I'm just loving it here I cannot wait to actually show you guys what it looks like when it's really complete and ready to go. Like I said, all the big ticket items are basically here. Aside from the dining room table, we just need to decorate. And that part I want to just take my time doing and not rush because I feel like we were just trying to get furniture to just like live on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is going to be the fun part. Start this date night off by showering. So let's uh, hop in the shower. because I have super long and thick hair, I have to keep it in the towel for a real long time. And I flop the sides of the towels that I used so I can use a drier side as well. It's like having 20 pounds of weight on top of my head. I'm not looking that great, but you know what? We're gonna rock with it. We are going to do very basic makeup tonight. I'm not gonna do a whole tutorial. So I love using this TikTok foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. It is like the 24 hour like flawless wear. So I just poured some on my hand. I'm just gonna dot it around. Does this match my skin? I'm not sure. That is something I'm never good at is picking my tone. Cute. Looks pretty good. Gonna next do a little contouring, nothing crazy. And I put it along here. Am I doing this right? I'm not sure. Looking cute. Tyler looks pretty decent. I'm gonna leave this for a second as well because I'm gonna do some lighter contouring in the center there. You guys, I am not a makeup expert at all. I just go based off of things that I see 
online. All right, and we about to get blending again. All right, we're gonna go in and we're gonna attack this nose. This looks so bad. Okay, now that I have shape shifted my face with contouring, we're gonna do blush, which I love. I would say it's one of my favorite parts of makeup. Go here and I bring it up a little bit as well. Oh yeah, we are rosy. That might've been a little too much to be honest with you. And then my favorite part is putting a little bit over my nose across the bridge like this, cause it does give this little like sun-kissed look that I really love. Next we have some janky elf highlighter. I really am out of budget. Do a little bit on the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow, little on the chinny chin chin. Okay, next is like eye stuff. So let's do some brows. It's definitely an eyeshadow brush, but I use it because it perfectly fits the shape of this part that needs to be filled in of my eyebrows. This is just an elf eyebrow thing. Hi, Kyle. How was basketball? Do you make any friends? No, oh, that's so sad. Someone once said something about eyebrows to me that really stuck is that they're not identical twins, they're like cousins. So like you're never gonna get them to look identical, they're just related somehow. So I would like to say my eyebrows do look pretty related tonight. Okay, hair is out because it's been in there for a while. I needed to air dry for a little bit. So we're gonna leave her, she's looking raggedy. This is my go-to mascara. Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. It's my go-to, I've used it since high school. And a lot of the times I'll go in and do like a second coat. And there we have it. All right, that was my really unprofessional five second makeup. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit and then I'll set it with some setting spray. All right, Kyle's telling me we have to go in like five minutes and my hair's soaking wet. So we're gonna run my Revlon One Step Blow Dryer through it in hopes that it will dry up a little bit. But before I do that, I'm gonna spray this leave-in conditioner in there and some heat protectant so I don't burn my hair to a crippity crake. I'm gonna try to section off my hair, you know, in larger chunks so I can run more hair through it at once. about to head out in just a second here but I just wanted to show you guys what I ultimately decided to wear so I have this cropped white shirt from Amazon but I think it's Shein technically this like green floral skirt my when my full length mirror comes in this will be a lot easier to show you what I'm wearing these sandals I have a matching purse that goes with it I always bring a hair clip when it's really hot to take the hair off of the back of my neck to cool me down I have these cute little gold hoops on my tailor necklace. So we're gonna head out. We're gonna try Ruby's Cafe and see if we can get in there, but if not, we'll just walk around and find something. We're checking in on our date night. We are back from Ruby's Cafe. It was really good. We both gave it a nine out of 10. It was really good food. It was a very cute place. The drinks were like pretty reasonably priced as well. Definitely could have been cheaper, but wasn't overly expensive like some New York City places. It was just a good vibe there in general. We have cracked open one of the new bottles of wine we got at the Trader Joe's wine shop that we put in our wine cooler earlier today. So it's been chilled at, what is it, 51 degrees? Optimal wine chilling temperature. <laughs> is <laughs> I, that what it is? I, What's the range? Tell them. I think whites are like 40 to 55 and then reds like 55 to 65. Our reds are kind of hanging out in the, the wine rack in the bar. And then we have all of our whites now, like I showed you guys earlier in yeah. The cooler. Cheers to date night. Oh, I like that. Aged over 100 days. Vintage. That doesn't seem very long. <laughs> Vintage 2021 wine here. Pandemic wine, if you will, from Chile. So this will probably be the rest of our night, just hanging in, drinking some wine, hanging out. 
We do need to order groceries, so we'll probably get our meals planned out for next week so we can place a grocery order, maybe watch a movie later. We have been watching the Mission Impossible movies in order because both of us have not seen all of them from start to finish. We are now on the third Mission Impossible and we always have to plan ahead when we wanna watch these because they're over two hours long usually. And on weeknights, it usually just gets too late. So 10 o'clock. And it is a Saturday, so we get to stay up later. We stopped at this little like dessert bakery thing on the way home that we just ran into. And they had cannolis, which Kyle is a big fan of cannolis. And I got like a little piece of carrot cake. I love carrot cake. Okay, so here's the box. It's called Veneros. And when you open it, what have we got? Here's my cute little piece of carrot cake. Oh, how precious. Oh, cute little carrot imprint. Kyle got, I believe, a chocolate cannoli. And it looks like that it looks so good. I'm not a big cannoli girl. I wish I was, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and eat it with a little fork. It's kind of nice that we were able to get like a fancy sort of dessert for date night. Oh, there's like multiple layers to it too. Mm-hmm, that is gas. Very good. Yeah, it's good. So we're gonna eat our desserts, watch Tom Cruise do his own stunts. Turn on the film, Kyle. Tennis salon! I can't imagine we're gonna be doing much more other than going to bed, so see ya.